Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Now, it's been a long time, another Q&A for this video. Now, last time I did it was a few months ago, so I thought, brand new year, let's do one. Um, got a lot of questions, some on Instagram, some on YouTube. So if you've sent me a question on Instagram or you've asked me a question on YouTube, uh, chances are they'll pop up on here. So we're gonna try to keep this fairly short for each question. Try keep it under a minute uh, response for each question. Try get it through fairly quickly. Usually my Q and A's are pretty, pretty long and loose. So let's try to keep it nice and quick. First question and a good one is, what are my dunk goals for 2018? So for my main dunk goal, I have a lot of dunk goals uh, for this year, obviously. But my main dunk goal is just to be dunking on 10 feet more consistently. Uh, now I haven't even gotten my first dunk yet. Uh, but in saying that, I have been getting the height easily. It's just, you know, small technical things uh, like with the lob and timing. And I think if I can just add maybe a good, maybe two, three inches, um, then I think I'll have that vertical, I'll have a high enough vertical uh, to be, you know, doing consistent dunks, um, even on a just like an average day. So that's my main goal. Uh, and then I've got a lot of sort of small low rim goals on the side, like dunking on nine and a half, like windmill dunking on nine and a half, um, scoop dunk on nine feet, uh, East Bay on nine feet, all those other tiny goals. But the main goal is to dunk on 10 feet more consistently. Next question. What does it mean when my vertical is decreasing? So usually when you are overtraining, you notice that your vertical will start to decrease. That's the main cause why your vertical will decrease over time. This just means that you probably are taxing your body way too much. You're overtraining it. Uh, you're not giving it enough rest. You probably need to take a look at your diet, take a look at your recovery, things like that. If they're not good enough, then you need to up those. Uh, or you might just be training too hard. So uh, I would look at those things. I would either, you know, take a, a break from training for a little while, uh, maybe take a few days, take a week, however long you need uh, to feel sort of refreshed and make sure that, you know, you're getting enough nutrients, you're getting enough sleep, eight hours, you're stretching, foam rolling, things like that. Those are the main things. Do you use any supplements to help you with your vertical? Uh, not really. Uh, I sometimes use protein shakes, but they don't really help me with my vertical. That's more because I just want to build a little bit of mass, um, and I don't even use those that much, to be honest. So you only use it when you know I can't really get a meal in. If I'm on the go, then I'll just use a protein shake. Uh, but I'm not really a huge fan of pre-workouts or uh, you know all those other. Uh, supplement. I usually just have coffee for a pre-workout. That seems to do the job. Or as if you guys have seen, I'll just have an energy drink uh, during my dunk sessions. But yeah, other than that, not too many supplements. What is your best advice for increasing your vertical? Okay, it's fairly broad, but I would say the the best advice I'd give is to just push yourself to new limits uh, and practice jumping. So obviously, jumping is the most specific thing to jumping. So people say, what can I what can I do to increase my vertical? Well, what is the most specific thing you can do is to jump. So I would just practice jumping, um, try touch new heights. Obviously, a lot of people have said that it's a very common thing, but it honestly works so well. You know, if you can only get the backboard, uh, keep touching the backboard. Keep trying to get higher and higher on it until you can maybe get the ring hooks. Uh, then keep trying to get that and then eventually you'll be touching the ring then grabbing it and always aim for that progression uh, as well as you know making sure that you're training the same movements and muscles that you use in your vertical jumps so you know you're doing main movements like squats deadlifts uh, you're training your core uh, your posterior chain all those things you'll get on a proper strength training routine that's a major piece of advice I'd give um, and you know making sure you're doing plyometrics and things like that but the biggest piece of advice I give is to just jump. Can you dunk with just body weight workouts? Now, I think this sort of depends. It kind of depends on the individual and their genetics. So it depends, you know, how genetically gifted they are in terms of strength, in terms of, you know, how explosive they are, as well as, you know, how, how tall they are. Uh, I would say it's possible, but it is very difficult just because to dunk, to do it with just body weight workouts, um, it's hard to gain strength because obviously the optimal way to gain strength is through you know the weight room and even though you can do body weight exercises in my opinion I just don't think it's as effective and it takes longer uh, I would say it's possible it just takes very smart training and very hard and consistent training what's the best workout you can do without any equipment I would say 
probably do a plyometric workout or do a you know a strength workout with very basic movements so you know your push-ups your dips uh, so maybe some core exercises but I would say usually when I don't have any equipment at all uh, the best workout I like to do is just train some plyos um, I've got a couple of videos out there which you can do without any equipment at all I'll link the best one that I have um, but yeah I usually train plyos especially if I'm you know away and I don't have all the equipment um, that's mainly what I do uh, simple and easy doesn't take too long not too taxing and gets the job done how do you not jump too forward when trying to jump okay so I think one major aspect of this is a lot of people they'll try to run fast just for the sake of it but they'll run too out of control and they'll end up taking a lot of their energy forward just because they're not properly sort of bracing themselves for that takeoff uh, and not having that proper approach so what I would do is one check your speed if you're running too out of control you don't have that control within you know your body I would slow down make sure that you know you can go as fast as possible while still staying controlled so uh, you know don't push yourself to a limit where you're just not comfortable jumping uh, the second thing is having a really small penultimate step so one thing with the penultimate step what's so great about it is the longer you lengthen it the better it helps you sort of brace for that takeoff from that transition to the approach uh, from actually going upwards so having a long penultimate will help with sort of taking too much uh, energy forward so I would also look at your penultimate you can you know film yourself see what that looks like as a guide they should be your lot your longer steps so the penultimate which is pretty much the last two steps uh, should be your longest okay and last question what is my current vertical and what do I want it to be by the end of 2018 that's a good question so my current vertical I don't know about my standing I'd say probably around the 30s on a good day um, but my running vertical I'd say is around 37 ish um, maybe 38 inches on a pretty good day um, and by the end of the year I hope to get it by either the low 40s or mid 40s so that's ideally what I want it to be um, because I'm at a stage that I don't you know have massive progress in my vertical I've kind of stalled just because of what my vertical already is um, it's kind of hard to gain heaps and heaps of inches so as long as I can get into that mid 40 range or low 40 range I'll be happy and I think that's enough to you know dunk consistently as well which is my main dunk goal so I'll be happy as long as I can get that anyways guys that's the q and I think we went through that pretty quickly compared to the last two ones hope you guys enjoyed Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next clip. Peace.